<clears throat> Can I help you? Hi, I'm David Corson. I work up in the marketing department upstairs. Tessa. So it's time for Firing Friday again, huh? Feels just like yesterday. No, no, it's not that. I mean, it is that, but um, I was just hoping to take a look at the kennel. You know, get a better feeling for what we do here. Lisa? We have another one. Can you come cover the desk? Thanks. Let's go! How many animals are here? It varies by season. During the summer, we've had upwards of 500 cats. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Are they all strays? A lot of them. We get some rescues and a bunch of owner surrenders. Wait, what? Yeah, people move or have a baby or didn't realize what they were getting themselves into. But you find homes for them all, right? Okay, I have to ask, how bad was your review? What? Every year around this time, we get a few staffers down here pretending they get what we do here. Does it work? Depends. Thanks. So, adoptions? We place as many as we can. Boarding is really hard on pets, physically and emotionally. The longer they're here, the harder it is for them to settle into a new home, and those are the well-adjusted ones. As opposed to? Some of the animals are victims of violence or abuse or didn't get the proper training at the right time. They can be antisocial, aggressive, or um, destructive to property. Well, what happens then? Some people are willing to help train and care for them, but a lot of them stay here. We socialize them when we can. We have volunteers come in and spend time with them. You mean some of them end up living their lives here? I'm afraid so. What happened to this guy? That's Bruiser. He's been here a little over a year. When he was about 10 weeks old, he was tied to a stake and used as bait for a pit bull. Oh, God. They found him in a cage when the police raided a... Stop, um... please. Sorry. So, how many of you work down here? There's about seven on any given shift, but 12 all in all, including the doctors and vet techs. 12? That's all the clinic can afford right now. Sounds like a lot of work. It is. Are you uh, working on tomorrow's big event? Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's my first big event since I got here. The annual spay and neuter ball. Does it help? Everything helps. Good. Could use a better name, though. Hmm. Are you gonna leave some for the rest of us? Hmm? Oh, shit, sorry. I'll make another. Don't worry about it, I'll get Sandy in here. You obviously have other things on your mind. Yeah. What did you think of the kettle? It's a lot to take in. It takes a while to make sense of it all. Yeah. My two cents? Don't try to figure it out today. You've got a job to do. Let it simmer for a while. It'll make sense when it's meant to. Thanks. Of course. Oh, stop by Carter's office on your way out. He wants to check in with you about the budgets. Will do. Hi, David. Hey. More coffee? How did you know? He seemed pretty rattled when he came back upstairs. So you just figured he'd come up here and spill coffee all over the lounge? He was wearing his lost-in-thought face. It was a pretty safe bet. Mm -hmm. Let me give you a hand, honey. I got Dolores the first quarter actuals 45 minutes ago, and since you asked for it already, she has the second quarter budgets as well. Hmm. Are you looking forward to the event tomorrow? Are you? I am. It's just... What? 
I wish we could do more. Yes. Hey, David. Hey, Sandy. How can I help you? Actually, I was wondering if there's anything I could do for you. I haven't seen you since you went down to the kennel. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You're right, though. About what? Tissues. Cold, yeah. So, you wanna go get coffee or something and talk about? Sandy, I can't. I gotta go pick up my tux and then I gotta get a good night's sleep for tomorrow. Okay, no problem. Green check? Yeah. Been a tear.